So the time is 1904 in Nagasaki, and the main characters are Chocho Sane, K, Butterfly, Pinkerton, Suzuki, and Sharpless. A strange name, but the main character's name is Butterfly, so like, we're just we're just being on brand here. So the story starts with Pinkerton getting ready to marry Butterfly, who mind you is 15, and I know what you're thinking. Ew, isn't Pinkerton an adult? That's so gross. And you're right. But if it makes it any better, Pinkerton is only marrying Butterfly out of convenience and plans to divorce her once he finds someone better. Butterfly, however, is completely in love with Pinky and converts her Christianity behind her family's back, which is certainly not going to come back as a major plot point. Except when it does about 10 minutes later when her uncle interrupts their wedding and has everyone renounce her because being a woman is an incredibly specific hell. So everyone's out of Butterfly's life, but she doesn't care because at least she has her man to the chagrin of every feminist that ever lived. Especially you, Malala. I am so sorry, Malala. So three years pass and Butterfly is still waiting for Pinky to return because he left shortly after their wedding. You know like a garbage human. So her maid Suzuki's like, you better get over him right now. And Butterfly's like, no, I will not. Here's a song instead. <laughs> then the American Consul Sharpless shows up to break the news that Pinkerton is coming back, but doesn't want to see her. And he's like, hey, Butterfly, do you remember Pinky? Oh, you mean my husband, who I love, and I would definitely kill myself if he didn't come back to me. And also I had a son with him, and here he is. Uh, yes, yes, that is the one. He is very excited to see you. I will go grab him. So Butterfly falls asleep after waiting all night for Pinky, and he actually does show up after hearing he has a son with her, but accompanying him is his new side I mean, new wife, Kate. And of course, being the evolutionarily stunted man that he is, he sees Butterfly asleep and says he's a coward and can't face her, leaving Susie, Sharpie, and Katie with the business end of this drama. So Butterfly is heartbroken, but agrees to let them raise the child if Pinkerton comes to see her one last time. Which I personally say is a terrible trade, but I guess I can understand her not being very business happy since she's only, oh, I don't know, 18. So she blindfolds her son, sends him away, and stabs herself. And Pinkerton shows up and is like, I've done it. I I'm brave enough to see you. Now what if I told you you could experience this story with an all Japanese or Japanese American creative team set in 2023 with a brand new twist on the story that wasn't made by me so you don't have to see it in stick figure form? Well you can experience this with Cincinnati Opera on July 22nd, 27th, and 29th with their stunning new production of Madam Butterfly. Get your tickets now.